just family structure, family background. Are you from mm -hmm. a two parent um, household? Was education big in your family? Like, what was that side of your life like? Well, uh, absolutely not. Education wasn't big in my household. My mother and my father was given away at birth. Uh, my mother had a fifth grade education and so did my father. And uh, what I'm saying when I was given away at birth, it was my mother, mother gave her away to this family and my mother's and my dad, my grandmother gave my dad away at birth. So never in my life have I ever seen my biological parents be up under one roof at one time ever. And my mom, me and my brother live with my mom, but I never lived consecutively with my mom more than three years at a time ever in my life. Wow. So, so it wasn't, education was never a discussion in my house. Are you and your brother close? Well, yes and no. It's kind of like a Jekyll and Hyde effect. My brother, he's a couple years older than me. He lives in Odessa and kind of people try to play us against each other because they were like, man, this guy got all the success, but my brother is half white. So my brother was uh, conceived, my mom was a prostitute and my mom was an orderly at this hospital. And one of her main customer was the head physician. She gets pregnant by this physician, which turns out to be my dad's, me, my brother's dad. She's fired from the hospital <laughs> and never see him again. So my brother never knew his father. Yeah, I ask you this because obviously this is a rough upbringing. Right. Very, very tough upbringing. Mm -hmm. You would think that because you and your brother are what, two years apart? Right. That you guys will be all that you have. So there would be a bond there that even if you didn't have this bond with your biological parents, Mm -hmm. You're all you have. So it's interesting that you guys are not as tight as um, right. I would expect or, or or think it would be from the outside looking in. Right. It's kind of like one of those things going without saying, I know he loves me and he knows I love him, but I can't hang with him and be with him and do things with him because we live two different lives. Mm -hmm. You know, like just for instance, you know, my brother, he got the whole gold grill with all the diamonds. He drives the big Cadillac with the big rims. You know, he's still chasing something that I don't think that it's there for him. So I used to preach to him a lot, man, stop doing this, stop doing that. And it kind of uh, took us further apart. So when I see him now, I just say, hey, man, I love you. Hope you're doing well. Hope your kids are good. And I'll see you when I see you text on Father's Day, text on your birthday, and stuff like that. But hanging out, we never do it. Understood, understood. Mm -hmm. Okay, you you mentioned your mom mm -hmm. was a prostitute. Right. Uh, I'm assuming this is mm -hmm. the way she had to earn a living. Unfortunately, she was given up at uh, her well, early age in her life. Right, so how my mom became a prostitute, her biological father turned her on to the game. My mom was having sex early in her life and her dad found out. And he says, if you're gonna have sex, you might as well get paid for it. Wow. And so she took that and ran with it. <laughs> so that was one way that she would rob, uh, get money, but she also would clip them. So when she's having sex with the man, my aunt would be a, it'd be a tag team. My aunt would be up under the bed. And when my mom was performing the act, my aunt would grab the man's pants, clear out his wallet of all his cash, put the wallet back inside and push it out. So not only would they get paid up front, they would also rob the person that was hired for the job. 